I don't even know why I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? I haven't even won more than three games, I believe, since I've been playing BR in 18. Has to change at some point. You wouldn't think I would keep choking in BR, but I wouldn't be surprised if I was. Nobody would. So, yeah, the first four runs I believe I did, four. I'm pretty sure it's been four runs and nothing has been done. Absolute, wow. That is what I am talking about. This mad camp you get for the extreme part of Conquest, I believe. And I was waiting to see the stats because I've been hearing a lot that the extreme part is... Is a pain in the ass to say, to put it lightly, I should say. So, I was waiting to see the stats and I already did see the stats, so... I mean, they are good. They are very good. 94 contact versus righties, 104 versus lefty 78 power that's actually a huge decrease from 17 and 16 wasn't it in 16 and 17 the flashback Kemp had insane power but he still has amazing power versus lefties like it was at least 90 he has 54 vision too which is I think better than what it was in the past couple of games too but he does have 83 speed 85 fielding too so I was doing absolutely amazing with the Diamond Kemp in 17, so he is definitely on the squad, man. Good righty bat already in the order. All right. Diamond round. The second diamond round shows up. I can't choose Suter. I can't do it. I don't know. Manny Machado or Mookie Betts. I mean, those aren't the best cards in the game or anything like I'd probably rather choose Mookie Betts if I was going to choose anyone because you could even put Mookie Betts at second base if you wanted to so Bruce Suter has 125 K's per nine that's maxed out he does have yeah he has the slider has the splitter as well this is the thing too since attributes can go over a hundred now you can find silvers and golds with over a hundred hits per nine and K's per nine I mean, I've seen some silver cards just as good as this Bruce Suter. The only difference is the walks per nine and the control might be a little bit lower. He doesn't have a change up though, which is always, always crucial in my opinion. I'm taking Mookie Betts because I, I'm confident I could find some relievers just as good. Or if not, almost as good. But Edwin has that inside edge. What? Edwin has 104 power versus righties today. I'm taking Edwin, but I need to take some lefties now because I have three, I have three good righties right now, so I need lefties. Nice. Michael Conforto. He is a lefty bat, has good stats too offensively. Yeah, he does. So there's a good lefty bat already. Common round. That's two starters down. Nolan Ryan could be that righty in the pen right now, or I could take, uh, actually I need to. I have to take somebody. Nolan Ryan does have a changeup. So I am taking Nolan Ryan. That way there is at least one good one good righty. So I'm fine with that. Travis Shaw, Zanino. Might have to take a lefty again. Yeah, Travis Shaw. So there's two lefties. Edwin Diaz. Like you could you could find silvers and golds with really good stats. His K's per nine is 97, isn't it? Yeah, 97. Yeah, I have to do that. I might have to try and save one of those silver rounds for a good lefty. Or at least one more lefty. So this might be a bench player. Could use Chase Utley. I'll just, I'll just choose Chase Utley right now, so I need someone else at second base. Get this, man, this, yes, finally. All right, well, this is a tough pick because... I could have a bullpen of very good righties. I could have three, three, yeah, I could have three really good righties, but only one mediocre lefty, or I could risk it. Actually, I might have to because there's only two rounds left. There's this one, and then after this one, you can't even wait, so I might have to do it. Because, yeah, there is still a silver round and a gold round left, so I'm fine with that. So I need someone at second base and behind the plate, and at short actually, don't I? Yeah. So what's most important? Somebody behind the plate is most important actually. 
I might have to take Real Muto just because, I mean, Murphy would be ideal right now. But I could manage to use Utley. If I don't get somebody behind the plate, that's a huge problem. Only a 62 overall. So I have to do it. I have to take somebody behind the plate. There is still a silver round left and a bronze. Brandon Crawford, Starling Castro. I could take Crawford, put him in for Brad Miller, and then that will cancel that lefty out. Or I could take Castro. I'll take Brandon Crawford. He has amazing fielding stats too, so that's, that's an all right pick. Right now, second base is what I need. So what I'm seeing is a lineup with a lot of inside edges. Conforto has 91 contact versus righties right now. 93 power, that's definitely good. Edwin, same thing. He has 84 contact, 104 power. Crawford, ah, he only has plus four versus lefties today, so that's not really a huge deal. Mookie has 91 contact, 70 power. So that's all right. Travis Shaw has a huge increase today too against righty. So yeah, man, this is, this is not a bad team. I pray a lefty is on the mound for Kemp. 99 power versus lefties. Even though, even though Kemp still does amazing against righties from what I've seen. So he has D Gordon. Tulowitzki, Cepeda. I haven't even seen that 86 Cepeda yet. How do you get that card? Contreras, Suarez, Hernandez, Jonathan Scope, and Jay Buhner. So his team is actually very good. Two diamonds, two golds, so his pen shouldn't be miraculous. And everybody in the order besides Scope, who is a live series card, has a good inside edge. And Scope only has minus one today, so I'm sure it's not that much of a big deal. He is playing at Fenway, which is always good for the righties. Just connect with something. Off the wall at least. Connect it with it. Oh, missed it! The damn fielding! I like stealing first pitch. He is going to the slide step. He only throws 89 with his fastball, so this is... Go, yeah. Perfect jump. That's an amazing jump. Why even throw it? He could have stood up. 1-1 one, one count. Put something in play. What? I meant to swing. Should advance. Makes the grab, but that's fine. That's all... Oh, bat throw in! Wait, go back! <laughs> you see that throw in? If this was 17, he would have taken 50 years to throw that ball home. Yeah, if I was him, actually, oh, he's walking Edwin. Yeah, that's smart, actually. That's very smart. Very, very smart. Oh, trophy. No! No, Crawford! Oh, it! He threw it away again! Wow, this guy is making huge mistakes! Still only one down, just put something in play. That's all I have to do. Mookie does have good speed. Down the line, that is a fair ball! And I'm sending him! Oh, he threw it to second! Man, he's, he's making bad throws in. Every throw he's made in has been horrible. Might take off. Get out! That's close! Go! Well, how about this team? 5 nothing in the first. Swing the bat! I would assume he's sitting on fastball. Oh, that went right off his face from what I just saw. Nolan Ryan, call the ambulance. Oh, he's fine. All hell might be breaking loose. I was going to say, too, this Nolan Ryan, I've seen bad things happen when the gold Nolan Ryan was on the mound. Going back to 17, he'll be on everything. He might be. How the hell did he put that in play? That was at his feet. Two. Thank you, man. Double plays are impossible to turn in this game for what I've seen. That's huge. He just fed me a fastball. Down the middle. How did I miss that? That's, yeah, that was a bad pitch. Yeah, I couldn't do anything with it. Well, that's all right. You wouldn't think 
You wouldn't think you should be scared when this is happening, but I am very scared. Maybe more than very scared. I just know something will happen. Alright, Nolan Ryan is done. Damn it! Damn it, Rio Muto! That's alright. At least get the out. Land! It's landing! No! Get out! No, that's staying in. Well, 5-2 going to the bottom of the third. And who's up? I think... He might have... Yeah, he might have the top of the order. This is not good. STRIKE! WHAT?! MAKE THE PLAY! Make this play again! Two down! And that is... That is it! The team walked away with the win. I should have only had like two runs max. I had three hits. And did any of those even go down? Yeah, he had one. He had one error. Probably should have had five when I saw him, but yeah, at least the team walked away with the win. Mad Kemp was one for two, Mookie Betts was one for two, Travis Shaw was one for two with that home run. Very important home run. That would have been tense. If it was 3-2 in the bottom of the third, I would have been scared for my life. I think this is exactly what happened in every BR run I've done so far. Every first game, the team has gone off, and then it's been downhill. So all I need is some consistency for the offense to keep going and for the pen to shut the door. Although that is a lot of things to ask for. I just need the offense to keep going. If the offense slows down, this run is most likely done. So that will be it for this video. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. I will see everybody in the next video.